Hello and welcome back to Near Automata. Last time we got into the tower, started climbing it, and now we're still going up. Learned the truth about Project Yorha. Uh, it was meant to fail in the first place. The machines are trying to evolve. Seriously, still kicking? Speculation. It is driven by remaining data located within enemy servers. So this just keeps going until I kill them all? No way, Koshi. Yeah, well, on your tail, too. Bonds are lost. Bonds are lost. This is messed up. How is this thing going on about? Analysis. It appears to be a leak of the enemy's past memories. You're wailing on it. It's not doing much of anything. A occasional few bullets and a big attack. Go away. And now we switch to Night Ass. Yeah, this part of the game is interesting. This is the final segment. Ow. Who did I do this for the bullets? Let's get one medium recovery. I don't want to have medium recoveries. Warning, Roshi. It's a barrage! Like day two! Yeah. Found stuff with an invisible wall, yeah. Level 50, but you're not a threat because I'm level 49. Well, I want to hit the boss, not a bunch of ads. Yeah, sure, ads are ridiculously common in boss fights, and basically all games that has boss fights, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. Yes! That's a bullet hell, alright. Fortunately, I was able to hack him into books. I can't actually do proper hacking with A2 here. Uh, only 9S has that ability. But I prefer playing as 9S just because I know how fast he can kill things. Of course, you can't discount. <clears throat> Just having fun playing A2 and 2B. 
the hack and slash game player. Oh, and of course, this is one of those elevators that is conveniently infinite. Even if it makes no... It doesn't make any sense for it to be infinite. Yet it is until you kill all the enemies. Like, how does it just never reach its destination? No matter how high it goes. I've always wondered how that works in games. Uh, gods. Come as gods. gods. Remember that? Too. What's all this junk? Speculation. It is a resource of some kind. Used to make what? Unknown. Here comes some more. Ah! I got shocked. Next, more NS. Was it the elevator is infinitely going up? So is 9S. Flying upward infinitely until the boss is beat. Flashing you. Oh, go, she's back. Zap. Okay, I can't actually melee it. Oh, it's a lot of bullets. Melee these. Shockwaves on me now? Yeah, I see the loss is right there, but let's get rid of all this crap. Oh, there's one left. All out! I ended up I ought to try getting it anyway. Then it, now I'm surrounded by them. Okay. Up some Koshi. Yeah, you did some damage, but not much. 
I'll heal it. Continue hacking you up. Oh, it's sparking from all that damage I've done. Run away again? Uh oh, more bullet hell. Hi, right, Koshi. Let's do this more. Oh, so she's back to Roshi. Hey, progress. Get to the top. Yes, yes, you are. Yep. That's the question. That's the valid questions. Do we even exist in the first place? What was our purpose? Why are we fighting all the time? Why must we be enemies? Not quite what they said, but. Why are you giving up? No. So we're going higher. I can coach you some more. Where is that one? Let me. More Roshi. There's a little more bit. Oh, back to Koshi. I'm gonna swap them back and forth quickly now. Missed! about it for you. Ow. Look at you two. I, I need Koshi to show up again. Ow. Yeah, he's gonna, he's, gonna, he's gonna show up until I beat Koshi here. Almost got it. Uh, 
Good enough, apparently. Oh, there goes my ass. Morning, Koshi and Roshi. I gotta find them both at the same time. No, 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 no. I wanna have little explosives. No, no, no. And it just swept me to 9S. I will hack. She just screw up and take too much damage while I hack. Oh. Day two. Well, thanks for the NS, it's half dead. That's all electric -y. Uh, us. Back to hacking. Our most damage is done. Losing two hits, but as long as I win, it's all I care about. But before, I'm not looking to play well, I'm just looking to win. Without using any bugs, glitches, or cheats. You know, seamlessly to swap characters like that. Yeah, I'll swap all in the middle of trying to hack, sure. Now it's just rapid fire swapping. All right. Take care of that. This tower is a giant cannon that's aimed at the human server on the moon. If we don't do something, all of humanity's remaining data will be destroyed. <laughs> so what? None of it matters. Or didn't you know? We aren't required in this world anymore. Humanity is extinct. That moon server you're so worried about was invented to give us androids something to fight for. Yep. The Yorha was created to perpetuate the lie, yep. but in order to make sure no one ever learned the truth, we were designed to be killed. Yep. They built a back door in the bunker and programmed it to activate after a certain amount of time. The commander, me, to be, no lies detected. Names. All of us. Isn't that hilarious? Doesn't it make you laugh? Ninas, we shut up. You killed 2B. That's all we need to kill each other. To be hated to keep killing you. It caused her so much pain. <laughs> the 9S type is a high-end model. They knew you'd discover the truth eventually. But the model designation 2B 
was just a cover. Here it is. 2B was just a cover. The official designation is 2E. Number 2 Type E. They were a special class of members designed to execute your high units. She was an executioner model. But you knew that. Right, Nainas? Shut up. Shut up! What do you know? He's infected! You don't know anything at all about us! Proposal. Cease combat. Fighting her at this point would be a Pod one five three. I order you to halt all logical thought and speech. This order shall remain in effect until you confirm the death of either myself or Unit A2. Please make your choice. Who do I use? 9S and A2 are going at it, and I have to choose which one I play as. 9S has obviously lost his freaking mind. A2 knows what's going on. Well, along with 2B, and yeah. 9S would learn the truth about humanity going extinct, and every time he did, 2B, or rather 2E, would kill him and make sure he didn't remember. She's known him since well before the game began, and she's killed him probably countless times. And 9S is aware of that fact. He's not supposed to be, but he is. One of the plays I mentioned earlier describes that. 9S knows he's repeatedly going to be killed by 2B, and he accepts that. <laughs> but at this point, he's simply lost his mind. Of course, he is infected with the logic virus. But let's go with A2. Are you sure? Yes. Understood. Because he's just lost it. Warning, 9S. No, I can't jump. I've been hacked. Due to hacking activity. Proposal. Destroy your high unit in 9S. On it! Of course I'm being hacked. That's what he does. All the time using 9S to hack others, now I'm being hacked by 9S. He's hacking me again. You see me, he kneels down, puts his arms out, he's hacking. Not get away, Dinas. Between A2 and Dinas, and a fight to the death. That's what this fight is. Only one will survive. Can't get away! Targeting system is normal. I can't target. I can't lock on. More hacking, as expected. Oh, it's the core. I know, I know that's a pod program he's using gravity, I believe. I got you, 9S. You're down. There goes the arm. Now we've hacked into 9S. We're in 9S's head. We're going to repair 9S's logic circuits. Acknowledged. 
Tell me where to find the virus corrupting 9S. Affirmative. Your high unit A2. Core data for 9S is stored ahead. Alert. Severe virus corruption. Probability of successful deletion extremely low. I think I know a way. The idea under consideration is not recommended. This pod is a Yorha tactical support unit. As such, it cannot approve of actions that would damage its supported unit. <laughs> You're not so bad, Pod. You know that? <laughs> Pod 042 knows what's going on. Knows what A2 is thinking. She's planning. All this inside 9S's head, basically. So basically, a bite up hacked into him. So this is it. This is the inside of his head. That his core memory data I'll is right take here. Care of everything. Pod, take care of Nine S. What of you, A two? Another reason I chose to use A2. I'm sorry. That's why I picked A2, ending C. And other credits are, in, are coming down in reverse. And they're also in a third language. But that's ending C. Where is ending D? Which the game has said was on the third path. And more importantly, where is ending E? The true ending. That's coming up. But considering this episode is only half its usual length. I've got to fill the time with something since I'm not going for ending D quite yet. And once I do it, you will understand what I mean. So, I'm going to leave here with the reverse credits in this different version of Weight of the World, the game's theme. And then I'm going to uh, show you how I level up. And how I'm going to level up in order to do the extra content I'm going to have to do. It's something I learned when I did it the first time. You know, all, all those auto chips I threw out at the beginning of the game, because you can only use them in easy mode, I use those. I let the game essentially automate itself and do all the grinding I need to level up. 
is this one area that has infinite enemies. I've actually been there in, the vi in a previous video. It's that spot where you uh, fight um, Adam when he first appears. Yeah, even here, the story clearly is not over. Yeah, the machine network turned against itself. But, it's A2 saved 9S. But you can tell this just isn't quite the end yet. There's still the matter of what the pods were going on about. The pods had some kind of secret they're holding back. Of course, it all comes together when ending E hits. Yeah, this episode will probably be a shorter one. The next one will be the bonus fight. Well, it's going to be more than that. I've got to do stuff to get... Yeah, I'll start working on getting to the uh, DLC fight. Yeah, that's what I can do for the rest of this. I can start working to the DLC fight. I just won't be able to win because the enemy is like level 90 or something. And I want to be able to beat them. I just gotta remember how to get there. I think I remember the proper way to do it. Yeah, why am I sitting here at the credits instead of just skipping them? I don't like skipping credits, honestly. Unless they're excessively long, and these not so much. Plus, I like the music. Now, the Final Fantasy XIV credits. I skip those because they're so long they literally have a Guinness World Record for how long they are. <laughs> Plus, there's this. To be a sword, Ninus's bag. Chapter Select can now be accessed from the title screen and access points. Debug menu can now be accessed. Machine Research Support. The Strange Resistance Woman has a new topic to talk about. Talk to her at the Resistance Camp to find out what it is. Yeah, it's... Of course, I know what it is. It's buying the de it's buying the achievements. <laughs> you can just buy them. They cost a lot of money. Of course, I did buy them all. Ending A, B, C, T, and U. The ones I bothered to get. And as you can see, Chapter Select is now a thing. I can go back to any part of the game. Including individual piece parts of each chapter. So it's pretty detailed here. And I can go right here... Back to where 9S and A2 fight to the death. 
The machine defeated, 9S and A2 turn on each other. A2 explains it's pointless to kill each other, but 9S is deafened by hate. Thus begins the final battle between the last Yorha. Of course, A2's final moments. Having failed 9S, A2 enters his system internals to eliminate the viral corruption. Which is ending C. So you can imagine playing as 9S brings you to ending D. It does. But I wanted to do them in order, so that's why I chose C. Alright, deranged religion, that's, yeah, with the, uh, become as gods. I have to choose which character it say the two B and I gotta find the right one. I think this will take me to where I want to go. Yeah, a, a lot of this is just filling for time right now. <laughs> but at the same time, there's nothing wrong with showing this. Yeah, this is just after the Forest Kingdom when we went back to that part of the game. I want to go to the flooded city. So see, there's other reasons like that why I like just going through the main story and then doing all the side stuff. Because in this game, you can just go back to any point in the game and do anything you missed. You can't miss anything when it comes down to it. You want to get any of the endings? You can. You want to do any of the side quests? You can. Because if you missed it, you can just go back to that part of the game. Anytime you want. Oh, there's also a. I went fishing a lot in the game, trying to find a specific fish. Have you seen these things before? And I never could, which really annoyed me. I needed to find a mackerel because. Gold enemies. Whoa. They're speaking. The gold enemies are just extremely powerful, and the only real way to hurt them is through 9S is hacking. Let's head this way. I believe this is where I had to go. Hey, do you have a membership card? Membership card? I can't let anyone in here if they don't have a membership card. I'll be gone from here. Negotiate. I told you to scram. You're not getting in here without a membership card. Let money do the talking. You think I can just be bribed like that? I've never been so insulted in my life. Give a thousand G. Hmm. Well, this card appears to be in order. Please, this way. Yep. You think you can just bribe me? I've never been so insulted. I think he just accepts a bribe and lets us in anyway. Yeah, I believe this is specifically a DLC only area. Oh my gosh. This must be your first time with us. In that case, Welcome to the Ultimate in Entertainment, a place where androids and machines risk their lives in combat. And yes, it's technically against resistance regulations, but everyone needs a way to blow off some steam, am I right? Please let me know if you'd like to participate. Yes, I would. And there's room there for yes. Gamboy's Coliseum. 
Pretty good, let me get you signed up. Oh, by the way, you're not allowed to use items in the arena. Can't have a bunch of weaklings sort of bulldoze their way through without any strategy, can we? Rank E, level 25. Yeah, no Ready item usage. Pick up a new e -rank battle. Don't let the low rank fool you. If you lower your guard, you'll be scrapped. Now, let the battle begin. So my auto healing uh, items won't work. Five, move forty nine. You're weak. Victory. That's all she wrote, folks. Congratulations. Here's your award for clearing the E rank battle. It's nice to change your hair color every once in a while, you know. Much hair dye. We have to look for little things like that that distract us from our everyday lives. Otherwise, we'll all go insane, what with the constant fighting going on. I'm sorry, I was just rambling a bit. Come visit again, okay? Hey, your gear is rusted or something? Hurry up already! I am sorry, I am sorry. Bah, you're useless. I had to trade you in and be done with it. You two be just stretching. It's weird coming back to this point in the game with two beasts still alive and well. And 9S also just fine, not insane, and not trying to kill A2 because he killed, she killed 2B. Rank D. And I'm specifically doing... Of course, I'm doing this as 9S because he can hack, he can take out enemies well above his level. Once I say to begin, we'll kick it off. We won't start during the explanation of how to start. I'm making this very confusing. Huh? Yeah. Anyway, this is for real. Now, fight! Yes, let's fight. No, 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 no giant lasers. Really? What do we ever do to you? That's a question, huh? So of course, yeah, not just because it's, it was ending C was the only reason I chose to go with A2. Yeah, yeah, you'll definitely see it when I get there. I wasn't even really trying, honestly. I'm too busy thinking about how the game ended and all that. Even though I've done it before, it still affects me. Just not as much as it did the first time, learning all this. I like it when a game story is just so good that even after you already know everything that's going to happen, it still affects you. This is one of those games. I don't know if you noticed it, but back in the episode where ending A happened, I was actually a little choked up when it, when it came up. The credits started. I was actually pretty emotional at that moment. 
because I understood what it all meant. And at this point, you understand it too. Like what, what to be said when she met, she said, it always ends like this. She's always killing 9S, and she hates it. That's why she's so protective of him. That's why she was crying when she had to strangle him. Oh, you're big! And that 2B is actually 2E, and is specifically designed to kill 9S every time you learn too much. It's like at the beginning, we said, why is a combat model here on this mission, on a recon mission? They could just send him and he'd do it just fine. Oh, it was because she was there to kill you once you learned too much because they knew you would. And that was really 2B's only purpose for being there. They knew not necessarily learned too much and she had to kill him once he did. And if you think about it, that's exactly what happened. He learned that humans were extinct, and then she proceeded to strangle him. Without knowing that he learned that, probably. Although she was pretty happy to see that he actually did survive. By ending up with his consciousness in the machines. And it's over. That's it. We're finished. Be right better reward. There's a rose machine core, lovely choker, precious earrings. There's a bunch of other stuff. Did you see that machine just now? It sure did. Stupid contraption was begging for its life. Not that a hunk of junk like that is even even has a life worth begging for. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, it was over here. There is one specific person I had to talk to. I can't do it yet. I can't remember which person they are, and I can't do it yet. I gotta complete this Coliseum first. Then the interesting thing can happen. The NPC might not be there until then. Level 50, yes. Now then, let's get this sea rank battle rolling. Now fight! Yeah. And let's use 9S for the very reason I'm using him. Because he can just hack. But yeah, after this, I'm gonna I won't be able to finish this because it'll get too high level. I don't think even his hacking will be enough. So we're gonna have to grind a lot. It seems like I got an automated way to do it. And then I'll take care of that. But I'm gonna have it be on... I'm gonna make two separate saves. One where I'm going to finish the 
get the proper ending, which I will not be super overleveled on. And then the one where I'll be the overleveled one to beat the special boss. Because I don't want to be overpowered for the end. Because I want to try a, a certain... Yeah, it's obvious I'm going to be hacking A2. That's no secret at this point. But there's a spe If you hack her enough times, something interesting happens. And I want to try to be able to hack her that many times without simply winning. And for that, I can't be too overleveled. You're crying out to God, but I don't think God's listening. Or cares. Or exists. But who knows, in this world, in the world of Nier, God might exist. It's possible. It's not reality, after all. I've played a Gideon game. I've played plenty of games where God actually does exist. Like, I've played plenty of games where God is the final boss. Push him Sonic again. Will not windmill like me. And that was me completely failing. As is expected of me. This is me we're talking about after all. Failure is only to be expected. After uh, going through all of Near Automata here, and I've got to record Final Fantasy XIV episodes, which is something I have yet to do for a while. Because I, I had a bunch I had already done, so I had a backlog of them. Now I don't, and next week I don't have any to put up. I have to record some. And I'm too busy playing this. But I got plenty of time. And you're done. This one's all over. The good thing is there's no EXP here. Congratulations, here's your award for clearing the C rank battle. Chips. Please, my mother, you have to rescue her. Machines don't have mothers. I think someone crossed your circuits. Better tear you apart and see what's wrong. No, no, no! Yeah, see, the resistance members and just basically enslaving machine life forms? Not quite, he's just asking for help. Again, showing machine life forms aren't mindless creatures. Of course, we've known that for a long time now. Well, 60. Yeah, let's do this. I think I'll go to throw other rank ass thing. I'd be like level 80 for that or something. The recommended level. To the B rank stage. Might be able to hack it. I mean, like I haven't fought level 60 things in the past in this game, so... <laughs> Sorry, I must ask you to die. Now, we have to kill androids to get out of here. Ah. That tells you what you need to know. These machine life forms are all trapped in here and forced to fight. 
they have to fight to the death in order to escape. So yeah, gladiatorial combat. You're fighting for the entertainment of the masses. Looks like the olden times, Roman Colosseums and all that. Which we know, this resembles. It's almost as if it was designed based on that. Yeah, even though you can't use any items, your chip still works, so I still got my healing there. And I can still just hack. Clearly. You're giving me the easy hacking. I'm gonna give you this crap. But of course, they have it hide behind. That was just annoying. They go and have it ha they go and have the things they need to kill have it hide behind the core that I can't do anything about. Yeah, you fight to survive every day. But they know the machine life forms aren't very much alive. So yeah, they're just fighting. They're just fighting for their own lives. They're trying to. Yep. Yeah, machines are the enemy, but they're also, you know, not mindless creatures at all. Ow! These little things. Really, one of the worst enemies. Yeah, my healing still functions. Well, there's also a reason I'm doing this before I actually go for the uh, final ending. And uh, you, you also understand that once I get there. Of course, when I say things like that, I'm talking about people who have, if anyone watches this who hasn't necessarily played this game before. I'm sure plenty of people have, of course. But I keep treating it as if people are watching this and haven't played the game. Oh, I don't even know how many people are going to watch this Let's Play. Probably at least two people? I don't know. I don't know how many viewers I'll have by now. By this point, subscribers, whatever. Probably not many, because who's going to watch my videos? No one, really. Hacking, hacking, hacking. Let's just keep the hacking. Nothing more to do here but hack. I'll be blocked by the core. I die anyway. Unless I get hit a bunch of times in a row back to back, I can't really lose. Oh, come on. Because all this endlessly heal. Of course, it's a point to make sure I don't lose, but. 
does kind of make it a bit too easy. Of course, I can just you know, not use those chips. Was that? What kind of camera angle was that? Looked like I was inside of a bullet. I had my little screen turn like that. James was being weird. Again, last time I played the game for a little while without a. Uh, I just left the game running for a while and it started to get, it, it did start to bug out. So there's some kind of issue with the game because it's been running too long. This is the PC version that supposedly has issues, although I never really encountered any. And this is my second time doing the PC version. So I'm playing the exact same version I finished the game on the first place. The only issues I really had then is I, I would run so fast that the area wouldn't catch up and I'd see like low, really low, it, yeah, I'd either see really low textures because it hadn't loaded them yet, or it would just, and it, and it would just freeze for a moment to say area loading. I mean, I don't really see that to be much of an issue just because I ran into an area too fast and didn't have time to load it. It's like uh, Metroid Prime. All the doors are there to hide loading screens. So I've had plenty of times when I go to open the door, it just sits there for a, for a few seconds, not opening. It's actually still loading the next room. for clearing it. Mar hair dye. If I win, I am free. I must win. I must. Yeah, what's the next one? Yeah, level 70, yeah. I think the last one was level 80. I think there's an S rank. I gotta finish that one, too. Well, I will do that in the next episode. We'll continue with this, we'll do this special fight, and there should be enough time after that to go for ending E. So then, thank you for watching this episode, and I will see you next time.